Today we'll try to understand what's the purpose and what's the point of Birkata Nenim. Birkata Nenim is the, the blessing that we are doing and we are blessing on everything that we eat. And is there something simple? Is something complicated, higher, lower? Do we get benefit from that? Obvious. Yosef Chaim said in Ketelum Malchut of Tunzain, if you will be careful with Rukata Neinim, you will be able to get the Holy Spirit. Interesting. Rukata Neinim is something that we teach in children. We say Rukata Neinim from two years old, they already start telling them and they start knowing them and start practicing them. And the rabbi said, you can get the Holy Spirit from that, not by mitzvot, not by to be pure, not by the mikveh, not by anything, just by be careful on our bikatani From that we understand that bikatani anim is something so high that it's taking us to the higher point. There are two ways. One, that the mitzvah is pushing us or pulling us. It's two ways to look at that. Obviously, we can say pulling us. If it's pulling us, the, the blessings should be very high to pull us to that point to get the Holy Spirit. It's very simple to look at on that from that point. But... Where is the Holy Spirit sitting? We say something like Malchud Silut. Very high stage that our soul going to be reach the, the point. Which what we are doing, why it's so high? Belazar, sons of Rush be saying the highest secrets are in the simple stages. Simple stages, everybody know. Complicated to do, obviously not. But it's so high, it's taking us so there. Is that more than Birkat Amazon, parallel to Birkat Amazon, different from Birkat Amazon? The answer is yes. It's different. If Berkat Amazon is working on on a channel of Parnasa, which gives you the Parnasa, so Berkat Amazon working on different stage of giving us the Holy Spirit. Can you explain just in English what the translation is for the two things? Berkat Amazon versus... It's two different things. Birkat Amazon is a, it's a blessing we do on the bread, and if we eat certain quantity of bread, we say Birkat Amazon. That's the Zohar says we have to do it three times a day, every day, and if that's the blessing after we eat the bread. After we eat the, the meal and the bread. Is of course the bread itself is on your bread, but we eat the meal with the bread. Then we say Birkat Amazon. But we're getting there something we call Zan, feeding us. God promised to every human being or animal or flies or whatever will come to the earth. He will feed them. That's the name in Hebrew is Zan. There is two things, Zan and Farnes. We see it in Berkat Amazon. Zan is something God promises he will do. Parnasa is different. Parnasa means? Parnasa means all the rest 
between the basic food to be exist and life, lifestyle. House, home, vehicles, spending, jewelry, whatever, clothes, whatever. It means the basic food to be exist, God promises. The best between the difference, that's the parasa. That you get it by what you do. And the Amazon is taking care of Panasa. Is God sending us a different check for the food? The answer no. The Zan is inside of the furnace. What he promised us to do, he gave us the work to be able to work and get the Zan from him. If I look at that in a certain way, I can look on the poor people. We are the channel, his channel, to give them the Zan because we have to give them a sale, which is 10%. So, all that is coming from Birkat Amazon, which we have to do it three times a day. That's what Zora says. So we have to eat three times a day the bread with a certain quantity to have Birkat Amazon done. Then we're getting there. So, Parallel to that, no connection. We're doing Birkata Neonim. Everything that we eat, we bless on them. What we said is the blessing is very high. Take us up to get the Holy Spirit. I count 12 points that we are working, we are doing, doing, saying, the Birkata Neonim. First, we, we, bless him, we are asking God to give us because the food does not belong to us. It belongs to Him. So if I take it and I don't bless it, from the point that I'm saying, Baruch Atah Hashem, we're blessing God. And think about that, that we are blessing Him. Baruch Atah Hashem, it's when we're going to thank him to be able to give us the, the fruit or the food or whatever he gave us. It's not doubt. It's coming with permission. So it's not gzela. It's just something without taking without permission. Second is, we are separating the enjoyment to, to enjoy. This is kind of feeling. The blessing on, 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 on the feeling of to enjoy is coming together with the air. For example, well, like, like, let's look on smell. You enjoy the smell. You take the air with the smell and then spiritually we separate it. Something that has value for us. The smell is the same what to enjoy. When we enjoy what we eat, it's something spiritually we take it, and we want to have that. If you eat the ice cream, just going through the, our neck, and you enjoy that moment, that's it. You can reverse it. Can you just throw it out and again? It wouldn't work. The, the moment of the enjoy, that's the point that we're asking God. And we're getting this enjoy. Third is, everything that we eat have alive things in that. What, what does that mean? We, are, we have three conditions to be alive. First is, we have to have a soul. If no soul, we can't be alive. Second, I need the body. If no body, I can't be alive. And the third, which is important, is, it looks funny, I need the food. If you don't eat, you die. You pass away. So we need to see one is soul, one is body, and one is the food. What the food is doing here? What, what, what the food have in it? Rabbi Ari is saying through uh, Marco that every food that we eat have a live 
things in that. We take it, but on the same time, we release the package and take in the live things inside. So the package is not important for us. Usually what we do, we saw the package. We can see it. Why? We born, I don't know, seven pounds. We passed away 400 pounds. We ate uh, 393 pounds. Fine. How much we ate daily? Five pounds. Six pounds a day. Six times 30 is 180 times. Times 12 yearly. So it's 180 times 12. It's already 1.8 ton. Times 70 is 70 tons. We put to the food processor 70 tons and we gain only 300 kilos, 300 pounds. Where is the rest? Where is the rest? It's a food processor. We throw it out. So basically, we don't need the package. We need the spirit on it. So the spirit, I take it inside. One other thing I'm doing, we know the reincarnation. There is a possibility that the soul coming with the fruit or whatever we eat. We need to release the soul going to his way. So we have to bless on them to release it. More than that, whatever we eat, we have to separate the good and the bad into that. We, we never use all of it. The body don't use all of it. But it's just true. So we have separation we're doing there to take the good and the bad things inside. When I'm blessing on the table, and I want to bless on, on apple, or any eggs or tree, the eggs we want to bless, we're thinking about one, and we can take all of them like they, they will not bless on them. Or I say, only, I want only him, only this certain fruit, and that's it. How, we, how it's happened? That the blessing attaches to other things we're eating. Yes. If I'm saying like it's now, so I don't bless on the other it's. I think about all of them. Or I'm saying, no, I want only that one, yeah. so I bless on them. So Rabbi Sisse, however I already said, when you're making the blessing, you're thinking about the other fruits. What are you basically is doing? Every fruit have its helium. Not everything that we have have its helium. It's helium. It's yes. It's like a shape. When we're blessing, we put on, the, on, on that food the Lamed Mim. Sadik is not there yet. When the Sadik is coming, when I take it and I chew it, and I chew it. When I say the broth and I have in mind everything, the Lamed Mem goes on oh, each no. thing. Yes. Not, not the Sadik yet. Yes. Okay. When we put the, fru the food in our mouth, we, try t we start chewing it, three things happen immediately. First, the life going to our body, getting out from the food. Second, the soul that I had there is still going to be released and going to our body. So we, we start chewing and, and what we see that the soul that was in is coming out to our body and staying there because then we have to release it. to Rabbi Ari says, we have to chew every bite 32 times. Why 32? It's few things. We take a Ramban. Think about that. Usually, we have a habit with chewing one, two, three, swallowing. The food we didn't uh, chew it enough. If you will chew it enough, it will be very easy to the stomach to chew it. I mean, the digestion will be much easier. 
So Ramban said, chew it, please, 32 times. By that, it's going to be much easier for your digestion. More than that, if you chew it, the taste is running through your throat. You eat less. Less food. Because you feel that you ate enough food. That's, so it's helping you. Take, you feel like hungry. The hungry is here, in your mind. You see the food, you become less hungry. If you feel the taste, if you, if you swallow it, you, you didn't feel you ate nothing. Your stomach is getting, getting higher. It's a nice storage, but basically not. We didn't. We didn't really feel the food to say, yes, I'm fed up, that's it, I don't want it anymore. So we had to chew it even more than that. He said, when we're blessing, bite what you blessed on. Where is that, for example? You take grape. Usually take three grapes, put it in your mouth, one, two, three, you swallow it. You even didn't bite them, no taste of the grape, and the full grape is in your stomach, and what you're expecting that your stomach will be able to digest them if I chew it, it's very easy to digest it. Look on little boys. The baby, you give him grabber, the food is already very, I say, thin. So he, he takes it, swallow it. Water, what is easier? Well, water, the food, body's digestive water, much faster than a bite of sandwich or a bite of steak. Why? Because we didn't chew it. That's from the physical point. From the spirit point of view, we have to chew 32 times, chewing like the number of the teeth what we have. We have 32. And it's have a meaning by the spirit way for the 32 to be able to cut it to pieces, to make it, separate it, to be able that the body will be able to separate the good and the bad from what we chewed inside. Try it. My experience is you lose at least 5 to 10 pounds a month by chewing constantly every bite 32. Excellent diet. You eat whatever you want, as much as you want, and you lose weight. Just follow the Bible. That's the only one thing. More than that is that whatever we do on, on getting blessing on what we eat, it's interesting. Why? We eat it here in Olam Asiya. What we bless, Baruch Atah Hashem, Elokeinu Melech HaOlam, it means we are putting God as our king, as the king of the world, with something we do in, usually in uh, Rosh Hashanah. So we put him as a king, and more than that we say, for him, thanks for creating the fruit. Oh, but we're eating it. I should say, thanks God to making the fruit. Why to creating? Creating something spiritually. Oh, it means that our blessing, working on the source of the fruit, there is the job. The job is done there. More than that, everything that we eat have a snake poison. Fine. What's the point? If I want to take the poison from human body, I have to beat the enzyme from the poison to take the poison out. By eating the fruit or whatever we eat that have a poison, we take the poison from our body out. So basically, by me eating the food, I make myself pureness. It's more pure than I was before, without going to the mikveh, without doing any mitzvot. By eating, my stomach is jumping up, and I'm getting spiritually higher. 
more than that, I'll be able to come to reach the point of to have the Holy Spirit by blessing on simple things. But dangerous. Let's assume everything that we do in this world on the good side, we have to pay to the bad side. For example, we eat. At the end of the eating, we have to say, make my machoni. From whom is the my machoni? For them, to the bad guys. So everything we do, we have to pay them too. My machoni is the washing of the fingers. Yes. This is their water. But we do bracha, we do in bracha this If I don't make the bracha chona, like born a short or whatever I eat, he's he's coming and say, Yitzchak, where is my part? You forgot me. He's taking everything. Whatever I did, he take everything. This is only on the bread. On everything. Even if you have a separate blood, you're not eating bread, you're just having a No, no food. bread if I'm taking, like, for example, mezonot. Right. So I have a bracha chona, ala mechia ve ala kalkala. If I eat water, I say, boi nefashot arbot. There is everything given a bracha chona. And afterwards, I still have to do... No, no, my machoni, but his part is this blessing that I'm doing. So the after bracha. After the bracha. If I don't make the last part of it, he's coming at night and he's taking his shares. Hey, my part, you forgot me? He's taking his shares by me losing everything because he bring the carry. You know what the carry is? I don't know what to explain. Death? No. What's carry? Carry in Hebrew. It's not in English. Ah, what is it? He's taking the spam when you when you're sleeping. He takes his his part. His spam. Ah, ah. During okay. the sleep, his spam is coming. He's going to him. He's taking it. He bring it. Wow. Because he's taking. It. If you don't keep, if you keep rachachona as well, it will never happen. He's not. He's not allowed to come. But if you, if I don't. He's coming at night and he's taking his shares. This is his part and he's entitled to get it. This is more for men than women? Yes. But because women will not get uh, a Holy Spirit. In this men. way, right. Yeah. So we see that basically Bahachona is very, very important. It's a very high richest point. It's going... What about high. nowadays when I hear the blessings, everybody runs on them. They just same so fast. You, you can't even hear the word. Oh, it's a big mistake. Rabbi Ari says, if you want to bless, please take it on your right hand, because this is the chasadim. Look on what you're blessing and bless. By three parts. Three parts. First part. Baruch Hata Hashem. Second part. Elokim Melech HaOlam. Third part, boy periods. Please look what you're blessing. Take slowly, carefully. It's a very high blessing. It takes you to the very high points. So let's do it. Some people, if you don't look, just doing it half, you even don't hear it. No, no one can hear it to be able to say amen. Forget it. You have to say it out loud if somebody Yes, you have to say it loud. The people will say amen after you. What happens if you don't? You, 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 you miss it. It's better. You get more powerful if somebody says amen after Even you. Even if they're not eating. Even if they're not eating, of course. Of course. They bless on what you say. They amen to what you say. That's, uh, that's your amen. So there's power in the word amen. Yes, of course. Which we'll cover in another lecture. That's another lecture. As that Hashem will try all of us to always to say Berkat Aneinim, keep them well, and that Hashem, all of us will get the Holy Spirit by 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 just blessing on on things. That's it. Amen. That Hashem. <laughs>